Yasu. Some people send postcards. I prefer to make memories. I first visited Greece 30 years ago. I had completed a degree in classical studies, so I was thrilled to see the many marvelous wonders. The Acropolis, the Parthenon, the Caryatid. It seemed everywhere one turned there was some statue, some pithoi. We visited the islands of Crete, Santorini, and Mykonos. Then spent some time in Corfu. I was fortunate enough to return this summer. As we traveled by ferry from Ancona to Patra, we passed the island of Ithaca, the mythological home of Odysseus. And so I thought we should start the Saucy Apron experience in Greece. This is my odyssey, my adventure. You could say I heard the sirens call. Greece with its magical blue waters, blue doors, it beckons one with the thoughts of romance, really good simplistic food, and an unbelievable nightlife. But as I sit here at a taverna, a typical Greek eatery, I think of what Greece really, really means to me, and I believe it's the mythology. The wondrous stories of the wrath of the gods and also the benevolence directed towards us, the mere mortals. But today we will prepare tzatziki, a village salad, and mini lamb burgers. So enjoy and journey with me. Opa! Hello. Today we are going to return, do a visit to a Greek taverna. Traditionally what you would find, so on the menu today we have a Greek taverna. We are going to start with a tzatziki which is an appetizer, a dip. Again it can be served with uh, it's, it can be an accompaniment to any type of a, a fish dish. A lot of people use it with calamari. It's usually served with some type of a pita bread. Then secondly, we're going to go and make a village salad, which is a traditional Greek salad, but not traditional in the sense of what we're used to in North America. Like I love my favorite line is leave your lettuce leaves at home. And we're going to finish off with a uh, mini lamb burger. Some people call them sliders, not a term I love but this is what we're going to prepare for you today. So please sit back and enjoy. So we're gonna get started immediately making a tzatziki. Some Greek yogurt, some cucumber that has been finely chopped and drained. I've got lots of garlic here. A little bit of, uh, sometimes the Greeks would use maybe some mint or something. I prefer actually to use a bit of coriander. So we're gonna use some coriander. So let's just sort of put this together. We have the yogurt, like I say, as it's been drained. I'm just gonna mix the cucumber into it. Then you get the consistency that you like. I personally like a lot of garlic, so we're gonna put a ton of garlic in here. Probably not a wise idea to be trying to kiss somebody after eating this. Okay, we just need to mix this in. It's gotten, actually, it's quite thick now because I did drain the yogurt and I made sure that the cucumber was good and drained. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of white wine vinegar to it, just to thin it out just a little bit and also gives it a little bit of taste. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt as well. Really, nothing could be easier. Tr traditionally, a tzatziki is served with some type of a pita bread, or a lot of people will use it as a, an accompaniment to, let's say if you were going to have calamari or something. So anyways, we've just about got this done. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the, of the chopped coriander in here just for a bit of color. Ooh, that's good. We're gonna serve it on a plate. And this again, this is just how easy this is. The Greeks do a number of dips. You can get like an aubergine type dip, which actually, again, I'm going to serve it with just a little bit of paprika on it, just for a little bit of color, and a few olives as well. Just for a little curb appeal, so to speak. I've toasted some pita chips and that's basically how that, that dish would be served. Okay, opa. Our second dish that we're going to prepare 
is the village salad, which traditionally in North America we would call a Greek salad, minus the lettuce. The Greeks do not use any kind of lettuce whatsoever in their village salad. The ingredients as such are a cucumber, Kalamata olives, chopped red onion, green pepper, tomatoes, feta cheese. So let's put that in a bowl, then we will dress the salad. Traditionally, there's a little bit of red wine vinegar that would go in the bottom of the bowl, not too much. Then we'll just start putting our ingredients in, basically assembling our salad. Again, a rough cut is probably your best bet. Go the cucumber. Again, you could use any kind of cucumber, an English cucumber. I don't think it needs to be peeled. Some people do. I don't personally see why you'd waste your time with that, but if you want to, the red onion goes in. Again, how thick, thin you want to slice it. Again, personal preference. We're going to put the Kalamata olives in as well. Okay, I'm going to give it just a little slight hand toss here to move the ingredients around a bit. That looks lovely. Then we're going to just put some slices of feta on top, a little bit of oregano on top. I like to personally serve it with a little bit of a lemon wedge. So I'm just going to put this off to the side here. You can just squeeze that on when you're preparing your salad. And then a little bit of Greek olive oil drizzled over the top. It's just that easy, and believe me, they are absolutely spectacular. I suppose I should have done that down there. There we go. Okay, so to finish off our Greek fast, or feast rather, what we're going to do is we're going to make our small mini grilled lamb burgers. So what we, I've got about three quarters of a pound of ground lamb meat. So we're just going to put that in a bowl. What we're going to do is, as far as binding and actually keeping the, the, the meat itself really, really tender, is what I've done is I've just soaked some white bread and a little bit of milk. So I'm just going to put that in here. And what it does is it helps to bind, but it also really softens the product. So we're just going to put a little bit of that in here as well. Then, because I like garlic, I'm going to put a ton of garlic in here. So between the tzatziki and the lamb burgers, unless you're sharing a meal with somebody, they may not want to kiss you later. And again, instead of putting any kind of mint or whatever, I'm just going to put in a little bit of coriander. I think it just gives it a little bit of a different type of taste. It with a little bit of fresh ground black pepper and some salt. Then we just need to mix this up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get in here and use my hands. It's always a little bit of an easier way. You don't want to completely overwork it, but you do want it to bind together. Okay, so what we're going to do is then we're just going to form. I usually do sort of start off with sort of a meatball type shape. Don't want to really make them much bigger than that. You want to keep them all about the same size so that they will cook consistently. Okay, so we've got them all made. So we've got, just going to sort of level them all off, even them all up. So what we want to do then is just slightly flatten them so they fit nicely on a bun. I usually put just a small indent in them so that they cook a little bit more evenly. They shouldn't shrink that much because it's a very lean product, the lamb itself. So I just need to finish off these little... Okay, we have a pan, hot pan on the stove heating. We're just going to pan fry them lightly in a little bit of olive oil. And then we need to just pop them into a hot oven, about a 375 oven, for probably about 8 to 10 minutes. I personally like them a little bit on the rare side if you want to cook them a little bit longer because you have folks who prefer a little bit of a more of a well-cooked product by all means. Okay, we should just take this over to the stove. You don't want to play with them too much when they first start cooking because you'd like them to sort of crisp up a little bit and not break up too much. So if you get them in the pan, maybe move the oil around a little bit. Pop them into a 375 oven for probably about eight minutes. I think they probably wouldn't require more than that. 
Okay, so what we've done is we finished off our, we started off with the tzatziki that we made. We have some pita chips as well that you could have that with me personally. I would probably be putting it on my burger. We have some mini split pitas that you can build, some endive, some feta cheese sliced, tomato, uh, red onion again, and the salad is ready and ready to go. Please enjoy. Bon appetit. Bon appetit, as Julia would say. Thank you. Enjoy. For all the ingredients to any of my shows, please go to my website, www.thesauciapron.com. Dash, Thank you.